Tommy Patero, who went by Tommy Karate, is one of the mob guys that we get questions about the most, and I'm going to give you my thoughts on his personality. Many people say they enjoyed his rubouts, which might be true, but he's actually much more complex. Tommy keeping items of victims is classic of that. My understanding was that he was bullied as a kid, and early on he took an interest in martial arts. He actually went to Japan and learned his craft. Tommy was very disciplined and thought out of his plans well ahead of time, which made him a dangerous hitman. He perfected his craft by reading books. He lived a life not taking drugs or drinking, and he saw drug users as weak. He has a very strong sense of honor and duty, and the mob played in well with that. In another life, he could have been a capable Special Forces operative. In one moment, he could chop up a body, and in the next, he could defend the downtrodden. It's interesting seeing Patera today as an artist. To me, he's an introvert, and his art is his way of expressing himself. His acts of violence and dealing drugs and criminal behavior cannot be overlooked or glorified, but it's interesting looking at his personality and how he could separate the bad things as being part of his duty in the mob.